What's up, guys? Today is a very special day uh, because we're going to be doing something that I've wanted to do for a long time now and uh, it's really just a shame that I've never done it yet. Uh, but today we're going to be chasing after the elusive Appalachian brook trout. Um, something that I've always wanted to do uh, but you know I just never had a chance to, never actually caught one and I live in the North Georgia mountains and it's just crazy that I haven't you know tried to uh, go out and find these uh, native brook trout uh, and they're really the only trout species that are indigenous to the area. Rainbow and brown trout have been uh, brought in and stocked into our creeks and rivers and stuff so uh, just to be able to catch one of these things that have you know lasted for m hundreds and hundreds of years uh, you know it'll be pretty cool uh, and they're beautiful fish so who knows, we might actually have a chance at an Appalachian Slam, which is a rainbow, brown, and a brook trout in one day uh, on the same stream. So, I don't know. But uh, there's some places that some people have taught, told me about. I'm going to try to hit them up uh, and find these. Uh, and it's almost going to be like blue lining because I've never been. I'm kind of just following a map to get there. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. So, uh, stay tuned. Let's get it. <laughs> Okay guys, so we made it here, um, there's a lot of people here, it's the weekend, uh, there's also a waterfall attraction on this little creek, so I believe that's why there's so many people here, here. Um, so most of these people are probably not going to be fishing, hopefully, and uh, I think we're going to try to go up above the falls, um, so we got a little bit of a hike ahead of us, but we're going to try to gear up and hit it anyway and meet some people along the way, so let's go. beaten path so I don't know we're gonna just uh, follow it until we get to the falls and then chill and try to fish along the way and then on up we're gonna really set up to fish and see if we can't catch some native brook trout so uh, let's get it look at him. Beautiful fish. Go ahead and get a release. There he goes. Wild brown trout right there. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch him. Well, guys, I wasn't recording but I just caught another fish. It's a rainbow. I saw him feeding. Brook trout, and we have an Appalachian slam, uh, which would be pretty 
pretty awesome for my first time being out here looking for brook trout. So uh, uh, next time I hopefully will be recording on the next fish. But uh, there are some good waters that's kind of hit and miss. So I just kind of fish around the small stuff. And then every once in a while there's a pretty good hole and I'll get some bites. But I try to film everything from now on. So since I've already caught two trout, a brown and a rainbow, and I really want to catch a brook so I can get this Appalachian slam. Um, we're just going to go straight up to the falls and go up above them. So I've just been fishing below them here on the trail. So we're just going to go straight to it. I get a cool vid of the falls up here and you know maybe we can hook some more fish. It's, I've only been out here for like maybe an hour and it's already been a pretty good day. Um, I'll probably throw some tips in on how to uh, sneak up on his fish and try to catch them too. So let's make it to the falls. Okay guys, so I'm at the top of the falls now, so hopefully from now on we'll be uh, getting into some better fish. Hopefully the brook trout are up here. Um, I'm really just going on a whim, but uh, I'm pretty winded after climbing up uh, some steep uh, slopes. But uh, I don't know if you can see it through the bush, but that's the waterfall all the way down right there. In that area goes all the way down there. It's not a very big one, but it's got a couple cool uh, falls on it. Um, so it kind of falls into a small pool, into another one, and then a, the big one at the end. So uh, let's try to go on up the trail some. Uh, probably another half mile at the most, and see if we can't catch any. Okay, so just up above that other run is a pretty good run right here. And uh, I'm got the bow and arrow cast under all this but I'm going to be in the water but if I can get up far enough but not too far uh, to scare the fish but just far enough that I can shoot up about right in here and let it drift down I might be able to catch another bear so let's give it a shot. Guys, I just did it. I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't even mean to. I'd put my, trying to flip my rock, my fly across the current over there. And then I pulled it back up because I messed up and boom, right there, a brook trout hit it. Look at that. Look at how beautiful it is. That's it, the Appalachian brook trout right there. They don't get big, guys. This thing's probably in two inches. Um, but that's him right there. I cannot believe it. He took the antacid. Um, gosh, he's beautiful. I'm gonna take a picture, and then we'll get a release on him. Well, there you go, guys. He fell out of my hands, but uh, he swam off fine. And uh, there you go, there's an Appalachian brook trout. Uh, and I mean, I was literally crashing up under these laurels right here. Uh, caught them out of this 
stream over here. I mean, literally just bow and arrow casts. Um, and then once I got it in there, I was just kind of flipping my wrist. And uh, I can't believe I got him. I wasn't even paying attention. I just kind of, it was a fluke, honestly, that I caught that thing. But uh, I didn't know if they were any in here, to be honest. I was way up here in the laurel thickets and went way off the beaten path and just followed this creek up here. I wasn't even sure if it was the same one because I lost track of where I was. and. The waters look good, so I thought, well, I mean, if there was any brook trout in Long Creek, if this ain't Long Creek, um, it's got to be connected to it, and so there's probably brook trout in here too. So, and I was right. So, I can't believe it, guys. There you go, an Appalachian Slam uh, right here, um, and the North Georgia Mountains. I'm in the Blue Ridge uh, Wildlife Management Area, and it's just gorgeous up here, as you've seen in the video. I knew that there were stories of there used to be a lot of brook trout in North Georgia, but you know, with people uh, coming in and catching everything and nobody releasing fish and you know, with them stalking, those fish kind of beat out the native brook trout. And so there you go, but I just can't believe it. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. And uh, you know, maybe we'll be back out here uh, on the search for some more native brook trout. But until then, um, I'm Zeke Huffman, and this is Treetop Tracking. The pattern used today to catch all the fish was on an antacid. I tied on a number 16 TMCO nymph hook. I tied it chocolate brown with a purple th metal thorax, a deer hair wing, and underneath is crystal flash root beer. Crystal flash, uh, just to give it a little shimmer. Um, if you want to know more about this pattern, I can either tie it in another video or you can go look it up at Kelly Gallup's Antacid uh, Fly on YouTube. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And uh, we're always making new videos and it'll help us out a lot on our channel if you just comment and uh, tell us what you'd like to see. So, see ya.